please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Malawag. Today, we are on our first day of the Novena in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary of Malawag. Her feast day this summer will be on the 21st of April. So as we commemorate this first day of the Novena, let us all make ourselves worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries as we call to mind all our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain fully? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princess gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in, in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your, your hands and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal. And signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant Jesus as they prayed the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and continued to speak the word of God with boldness, the word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. Bless our all who take refuge in the Lord. Bless our all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do your nations rage, the peoples utter fully, the kings of the earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Bless our all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven loved. The Lord derives them. Then in anger he speaks to them. 
He terrifies them in, in his wrath. I myself has set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, O oh, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. As of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the earth and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall roll them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Bless are all who take refuge into the Lord. Please stand. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran out ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servers, Fill the jars with water. And so they filled them to the brim. Then Jesus told them, Draw some out, and take it to the head waiter. So they took it, and when the, he the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Muli magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Walang duda, na isang mapagmahal na ina ay mapagbigay sa kanyang mga anak. Alam natin lahat yun. Sapagkat ang inang nagmamahal, sila ang huwara ng uh, pagsasakripisyo. Kaya nga sila lagi sinalarawan natin no, kapag uh, pinaliliwanag natin no, ang uh, kahulugan ng pagsasakripisyo. Ang ibig sabihin, ang nanay kapag kakailangan ng anak, no, uh, kahit na ito ay gusto niya, katulad halimbawa ng pagkain, no, na isusubo na lang niya sa kanyang bibig kapag hiningi ng kanyang anak, ay ibibigay niya ito na kahit kailangan niya rin at kahit siya ay nagugutom din at sasabihin na lang niya no, uh, hindi pa ako nagugutom at ito naman ay para sa aking anak ang inang mapagmahal ay palaging mapagbigay at uh, laging nagpapaubaya sa kanyang, uh, para sa kanyang mga minamahal na anak ang ating mga magulang o ang ating mga ina ay hindi sila mga bayani no? they are not heroes they are just patient. They are just so loving. Kasama na sa kanilang, uh, likas na sa kanila. No? It's part of their nature to be loving, to be patient, to hold things in their hearts, to be emotional, to be sensitive, to, uh, to be sensitive of the needs and concern of others. Ganun lang talaga siguro. Kapag ka isang babae ay naging ina, mas nagiging mahaba ang kanyang pasensya, mas nagiging malakas no, ang kanyang uh, Pananalig, mas nagiging malakas ang kanyang loob, maging kanyang pangangatawan para sa kanyang mga minamahal na mga anak. 
Subalit, kakaiba. No, kapag ka, ang nakita natin, ang anak naman ang naging mapagbigay sa, sa kanyang ina o sa kanyang magulang. At marahil ito ang kakaiba sa kwento na binasa natin sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito. No? Ang ina naman ang humingi ng pabor sa kanyang anak. Pagkatapos ng mahigit 30 taon na kanyang pag-aalaga sa kanyang anak na si Jesus, no, nang lahat ay kanyang pinagdaanan, lahat ay kanyang nalagpasan, lahat ay kanyang itinago at kiningkim sa kanyang puso, anumang pasakit o anumang pahirap, no, mabigyan lamang ng mabuting buhay ang kanyang pinalalaking anak ng Diyos sa kanyang piling. 33 or 30, more than 30, 30 years later, no, it is now the mother who is asking a favor from her son. Not for herself. Hindi para sa kanya sarili ang pabor na kanya hinihingi. Kagaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, kapag kaya sa babae naging ina at mapagmahal at mapagbigay, she becomes sensitive of the needs of others. And this time, the Blessed Mother is asking for the need of someone or of some people, maybe a family friend, Marahil isa doon sa mga uh, nag, uh, nagpakasal no? ay kanyang kamag-anak o marahil ang nanay o isa sa mga magulang na mga ikinasal ay kanyang kaibigan na matalik o kanyang kababata, kababayan o kaibigan. At uh, sapagkat siya no? ay uh, may pagkalinga sa kanyang kapwa, no? ay hiniling niya ang isang pabor na para sa anak ay hindi pa panahon para ibigay. At ang pabor na ito ay hiningi niya, anak, nauubusan na sila ng alak. At ang ibig sabihin nito, kapag ka ang isang kasalan ay naubusan ng alak, mapapahiya ang dalawang pamilya. Lalong-lalo na ang pamilya o ng nobyo na ikinasal sapagkat hindi naging satisfied no, ang kanila mga bisita. They were running out of wine and they are on the brink of losing their dignity and their honor as a family. And so Mary came into the picture and said, My son, they are running out of wine. And actually, yun lang kanang kanyang sinabi, no? sa binasa natin, yun lang ang sinabi ng ating mahal na ina. At ang sinabi ng kanyang anak, babae, ano naman, o bakit naman kailangan na maapektuhan ako ng iyong uh, uh, Iniisip, no? Why your concern should affect me? And then the Blessed Mother did not answer further. Instead, he went to the waiters and told them, Do whatever he tells you. Gawin ninyo kung ano ang sasabihin niya. Hindi na hinamarahin hinintay ng, ang, ng uh, mahal na ina kung sasagot ng oo o hindi ang kanyang anak. Bagko sinabi ng kanyang anak, hindi pa panahon. No, subalit si Maria, alam niya sa kanyang puso, kilalang kilala niya ang kanyang anak. For more than 30 years, he was with her. No, they were together maybe 24 hours a day, together in one house, under one roof. At alam ni Maria na hindi siya bibiguin ng kanyang anak. At totoo nga, at nagganap ang pinakaunang himala at ang pagpakilala ng Panginoon ng kanyang kapangyarihan doon sa kana, no sa kasalan. At ang kanyang mga alagad, ang mga taong sumusulod sa kanya, ang mga taong kinikilala pa lang siya, ay nagsimula namang niwala at magtiwala sa kanya. So this was the beginning no, of the miracles of Jesus in Cana in Galilee. So nung nais ipaabot sa atin ng mahal na ina. No, sa araw na ito na tayo ay nagbibigay ng parangal sa kanya at nagsisimula tayo ng pagnunubena para sa kanyang kapistahan. Ang mahal na ina ay pinapakilala sa atin ang kanyang anak. Nalubos niyang kilala. Kaya nga ang ating imahin, no, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, no, nandiyan siya sa kanyang uh, luklukan na sa kanyang trono, hindi para ipresenta ang kanyang sarili. Nandun, tangay-tangay niya ang kanyang anak o tangan-tangan niya ang kanyang anak sa kanyang mga braso. At ito ang kanyang pinakikilala sa atin. Ito ang aking anak. Hindi niya kayo bibiguin. Sapagat ako ay hindi niya binigo. Kahit na ang hiniling ko ay hindi pa panahon. Ang anak ko ay katulad ko. Siya ay mapagmahal. Siya ay mapagkalinga. Siya 
ay mapagbigay. This is the kind of son that Mary is entrusting to us, that Mary is presenting to us. Not only her son, but the son of God, the son of God who is loving and merciful and forgiving. Trust in him. Believe in him. Do whatever he tells you because he will do good things for you. He is a loving son and he is a merciful God. And whatever he tells you, it is always for your own good. Let us all stand. Even to Mary, life was, so sim was no simple task. But she had faith in God, and so she could remain full of courage in all circumstances. Let us pray with faith in God who loves us. And in every prayer, we all say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For a courageous and loyal faith, which the church needs in a con confusing circumstances of these times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For resolute strength and perseverance for all those who commit themselves to give peace to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many whose faith is tested by adversity and suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many young people who are disappointed by the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the handicapped, for those dying this very hour, for dead people there to us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the sick members of our families, our friends who are also sick, those who are sick and uh, infected by the virus COVID-19, those suffering in the hospitals and in their homes, and for all those who take care of them, especially our medical workers and our frontliners, and uh, for all of us uh, struggling to survive this pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions and for those people we have promised to pray for and for the sponsors of uh, this Holy Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, you are good and you want to make all people happy. But when we are sorely tested, it is difficult to have faith. With the help of Mary, our mother, we ask you to, for much faith, for joy and courage, for ourselves and for others, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand there. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. 
Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Peace in You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his saving passion, your son, always and everywhere to give you thanks, most holy Father. The bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now, full of love and confidence, let us pray to God, our Father, in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, He who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us everlasting life. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us offer Oracho Imparata for the vocations for the Archdiocese of Lingay in Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingay in Dagupan. As we all say, 
Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in the journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your, through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocations in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Help us, Mary, help of Christians. Grant your pray prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. Mary, help of Christians, replace our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priests' sons as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin today, April 12, until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses if you wish to sponsor one or several masses during the feast and novena, you may approach our basilica personnel in the religious stores and mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page http facebook.com slash minor basilica manawag official. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May you have a meaningful pilgrimage and please have a safe trip back home. And for our brothers and sisters joining us by a live stream, we also thank you for being with us. And we continue to pray for one another. And we also thank, in a special way, our sponsors for this Mass. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing and healing of our sick brothers and sisters. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all sickness, and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we shall have the blessing of your religious articles. Kung meron po kayong religious articles, pakilabas lang po ninyo. Bababa po ako dyan para basbasan ang inyong mga religious articles. Huwag na po kayong umalis sa inyong uh, kinaruroonan. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.